Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to put a carburetor on a Cub Cadet 149, so. Um, here's the little carburetor, which I talked about in the last video I did on the Cub Cadet restoration project, kind of, sort of a project, but. So, you're gonna want, you're gonna gotta grab the gasket. So you're gonna want this gasket to sit, nah, it's still screwed up. It's, it's supposed to sit like that. Let's see if I can get the screws set in first. It's gonna be mighty difficult, especially since these screws are still tacky from still being painted, but that'll work for that. And you're gonna take your other screw. These are half inch by the way. They have a half inch head on them. Hopefully my phone don't get covered in paint. Probably will. But, the hard part is, is trying to squeeze these in. Kind of, sort of. It looks like crap, because my phone is, like, sitting directly over it. There you go. You might be able to see a little better. The hard part is trying to get these set in there perfectly. But, there, I got it. So you want to try to tighten these up as tight as you can get them with your finger. Or you can use a half inch wrench. These are half inch. Yeah. Won't focus. There you go. Um, so you kind of want to work them in kind of even. You want to work one in a little bit. Work one in a little bit. You can use a screwdriver on these too, but I'm more preferably using a hand or a wrench and try to get them tight because you have to have a really big straight head to do it. So... The only other part I can't show is how to put the air or put the air cleaner on, but I can at least get you this far. To hook the choke up, kind of. I can't even hook the choke up, but I can hook the throttle up, but I can hook the choke cable up, so. I'll show you how to adjust this, because it might already come pre-adjusted, I don't know. Not till I start it, and I can't start it because I don't have a gas tank, it's sitting on the floor. I'm waiting for the paint to dry on it, so. That might work if I would tighten the bolt up. <clears throat> you may have to adjust your little uh, fuel inlet to line up with your fuel hose. If you have to adjust it, you can. It makes it really difficult whenever it's in a spot and it's still wet from paint. So. Okay, that side's tight. But put your gasket in. Your throttle linkage little piece is right here. You want to take this little, or a little nut on there. You want to take that off. Let me find the hole here a little bit. Okay, so that hole right, the big hole, is where it squeezes in at. You can thread this little nut in here, underneath there. Um, I should have painted that linkage, but oh well. It's in, you, you have to adjust it. The best time to do this is while the engine's off, and I would hope he'd be doing it, but there's somebody that's out there that would do it like that. But makes it really difficult because you have to really get it on there for it to stay on there. I got the nut on now. It's a 3 8 if you guys are wondering what size it is. So... Yeah, I don't want to make this a 10 minute video of how to put a carburetor on, but I want your 3 8 If you guys want to know where to get one of these little cool sets at, Lowe's has them. They're a Craftsman set. They're kind of like a little binder, but there's, there's all your other gaskets. This one here goes over here on the front of the carburetor for your air cleaner, which is up there. It's waiting for the paint to dry on it, too, before I can finish it. But it goes on there, wherever your screw holes line up. But it goes on like that, with your three little screws right there. So then you want to tighten this up. You may have to hold the... Yeah, it'll hold itself, I think. Like, eh, you might have to hold the end of it with another wrench, maybe. But... Eh, it might help it probably go on the right way. Might. I don't know, we'll see, but I want to make sure it's tight, because you don't want that fucker rattling off, 
so gotta get the throttle tight. That's, I believe, wide open. That should be idle. Yeah, that's idle. Should be idle. Wide open. Idle. That's about half the rattle. So that should work, I hope. You want to double check your bolts before you... Now, well, might have to find the right size. You want to make sure you get them tight. The hunt one's the tricky one because you have to really get it on there. But you want to make sure that these are tight before you stick anything else on. So, this is the miserable one. You may have to go from underneath to get it, but you want to make sure it's tight for sure. Why they did this, I don't know. Leave it to cooler. But make sure your bolts are tight. Make sure your linkage and everything's hooked up. But here's your choke cable, my fancy ass choke cable with a pair of vice grips. But it hooks on like, I think it goes in the top hole, I believe. I think it goes in the top or the bottom hole. You can't screw it up, but I believe it's the top one. But I can't hook it up yet because I got to hook all this shit up. So, except for this one, I'll catch you guys on the next one.